Rolf may be the villain of his game, Fix It Felix Jr., but just because he's a bad guy doesn't mean he is a bad guy. He may be a wrecker and a villain when a quarter enters the console since that's his job, but for some reason for 30 years, Rolf has been put down and outcast for his purpose by Felix and the game's community members, the Nice Landers. You'd think with a name as cheery as the Nice Landers, they would be a little more empathetic to the poor guy who they pushed away and put down so much he's been reduced to living in garbage and isolation and gaining an existential crisis in group therapy. But that's not who the Nice Landers were, and I wanted to figure out why. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to theorize on why Felix and the Nice Landers weren't actually nice to Ralph. If you'd like to learn more about the Nice Landers, after the video, I provided all the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. To continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to subscribe, and to support the channel and get this Turbo Time shirt like what I'm wearing, make sure to check out WatsoStore.com. Ralph! Right the party. Get rid of him, Felix. When Ralph shows up to the anniversary celebration of Fix a Felix Jr. uninvited, the Nice Landers are shocked, scared, and just want him gone, but Felix just doesn't have it in him to be mean to the big guy. While I think the Nice Landers regard Ralph as an actual bad guy, even after years of knowing him, since they never got past their intimidation and fear. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. Felix is just unable to see Ralph's perspective. Felix is the beloved champion of the Nicelanders, and for good reason. He is programmed to be a kind, patient, and helpful man of the people, and he carries this right through to when he interacts with Ralph. Felix is never really mean to Ralph. I just think Felix originally sees his separation from Ralph as the natural order of their lives and is simply ignorant of Ralph's situation. Felix doesn't want to hurt Ralph or dismiss him for no reason, and at the same time he doesn't want the Nicelanders to be upset. He's really just trying to avoid confrontation by attempting to segregate the two groups. Felix didn't want to identify, discipline, or manage who was being mean to who. Diffusing and avoiding negative situations was the goal. How about we just eat the cake? Hang on. But Felix's actions still indirectly hurt Ralph, so you could say Felix was being mean, I just don't think these were his intentions. Ralph feels left out, alone, and miserable being on his own with nothing, and Felix definitely contributed to that, but it was never done maliciously. Felix was acting to keep the people with the real hard feelings away from one another. You know, the individuals with actual hate and dread in their coated hearts? The Nice Landers. To the Nice Landers, they saw Ralph as a destroyer and very little more. In their minds, he was equivalent to the villain who destroyed the building for the video game. And the reason I don't think Ralph could change their minds is because they had never been shown Ralph is capable of much more than being destructive. I mean, just look at the disaster of a party again. In the few minutes Ralph is at the celebration, he wrecks Felix, wrecks the penthouse, wrecks the cake, wrecks the party, and then he leaves and almost wrecks the game. Sure, the Nice Landers probably should have risen to their name and have been the nice people who gave Ralph a chance no matter what they thought of him. I definitely think it's unfair of the Nice Landers to behave this way, but at the same time I can also understand why they would be intimidated by the villain of their game who seems to always bring cataclysmic ends to events and things. The Nice Landers never had rigorously questioned their belief that Ralph is a villain until the conclusion of the first wreck at Ralph. But I want to know who or what provided this notion in the first place. What gave them the idea Ralph was no different than his programmed role in the game? At first I thought, like many of my questions on wreck at Ralph, the answer had to lie within the code. Maybe the Nice Landers were simply programmed to despise, fear, and scorn Ralph. Although I think this contributes to their behavior, since this problem seems to span across video games for many of the villains, I don't think this is the full answer. In truth, the Nice Landers do have the capacity to change and eventually do at the end of the film, so nothing is actually making them outcast Ralph, except one of them. And it's not Nell, or Lucy, or Dawn, or Dana. Diana. Sorry. Nope! It's the biggest meanie of them all. The man with the name, which just sounds like pure evil. The Nice Lander, who is the most opposite of the title, and the guy who just seemed like an unlikable jerk. Gene. Curse you, Gene! Why is he here? You see, Ralph, there's no room for you up here. 
If you want a medal, we'd let you live up here in the penthouse. But it will never happen. Comment to devil emoji below the like button if you think Gene is the meanest of the mean in that whole place. But seriously, I just couldn't understand where Gene's hostility came from. He's prominently contentious and outspoken, and is openly hostile and cruel to Ralph in front of everyone, even though he is the mayor of the town. Gene sets a precedent for the entire community as a person of influence to antagonize and degrade one of the key members of their game. Gene is the ringleader of this atrocious behavior, which is just horrible. What is your problem, Gene? Why have you led your community to be so hateful? Why are you here, Gene? After pouring through Wreck-It Ralph and the Disney Wiki, I finally found something interesting about this Gene fellow that tipped me off to where his animosity could derive from. The Fix-It Felix startup cutscene. Each time a quarter is inserted, Ralph falls asleep in his stump, the stump is moved to the dump, Ralph gets mad, the Nicelander's tower goes up, Ralph says he's going to wreck it, and all of a sudden, he grabs a man out of a window and tosses him off screen. Wait, wait, let's zoom in on that. Who is this little guy? Well, see the little suit, the tiny mustache, and the dark hair? Yep, those are the same defining characteristics as the big meanie himself, Gene. The most unforgiving and spiteful member of the Nicelanders is the man who suffers the most from the operation of the game. Each time the game is played for the past 30 years, he is manhandled and thrown onto the ground like a rag doll. For 30 years, he has experienced Ralph's full power being inflicted upon him. Gene has dealt with Ralph being a villain over and over and over again. And I think this led to resentment. Every day, Gene felt degraded, being tossed around, so he did not want Ralph around him, any of the Nicelanders, or his hero Felix. I think Gene truly just grew to fear Ralph's power and his intentions. So, as an esteemed member of the community, who was only second to Felix, who, remember, did not want to be involved in any type of conflict, I think Gene created a group of people who dreaded Ralph's presence. Okay, so let's recap all of this. Felix longs to be a kind, good, and heroic individual who starts out with a weak understanding of Ralph's situation. I think he is under the assumption separating the heroes and villains and avoiding the issues between them is a way to keep peace. But because Felix and the Nicelanders don't learn to understand Ralph until decades after the game enters Litwax Arcade, another influential individual fuels the belief Ralph is only a villain. After being tossed around every time the game is played for 30 years, Gene begins to distrust Ralph's strength and motivations, leading to him pitting the community against Ralph and making the Nicelanders not so nice. So, now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. To become a patron yourself, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash videos. Do you think Felix was actually being mean to Ralph? I feel like his initial behavior kind of falls into a gray zone. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed discussing the Nicelanders, then click that like button. And if you are interested in staying up to date with more magical Wreck-It Ralph videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you'd like to see more Watson videos, then check out some awesome picks over here, including the Wreck-It Ralph playlist I've curated. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.